Hi everyone, Felicity here again today with another hip kit layout using the February 2017 kit. Now in the kit there is that paper from Chasing Dreams which is full of butterflies. Most of you probably know which page I'm referring to but tell me one person who hasn't cut those butterflies out. I mean really it's tempting huh? So that's what I've done. I've sat for a very long time and cut out each and every one of those butterflies. Yes, a bit crazy, I know. But hey, I got to put my feet up for a couple of hours, so I wasn't worried. <laughs> Anywho, let's talk about what I'm doing. Now, obviously, I had the idea of layering in those butterflies. So when I thought about layering the butterflies, I had a little vision of perhaps having some paint drip underneath the butterflies. So I decided to give it a go. I mean, what have I got to lose? Nothing. So I pulled out my Aquatones, which came in the colour kit. And all I've done here is put some Aquatones onto some packaging and added a lot of water. Then, as you can see, I've just let it drip down the page. No trick, I guess, to do it. Just simply put it on, turn the page on its side, and away you go. Now, with your Aquatones as well, bear in mind that they are a self-priming paint from Shimmers. So I actually didn't even apply any gesso at all to the page. I've also added in that greeny colour, which is another Shimmers colourings. I think by memory it's called Well Blew Me Down. Um, but that came in a past colour kit as well. Now you need to bear in mind as well, when you mix or put your colours close together, they will mix. So I've got a little bit of a purple shade going on here now as well, which I think looks really, really cool because it it does still match in with my butterflies. So just remember that as well. Now, I let that page dry naturally. I didn't use a heat gun to heat it up. If I did use a heat gun, because of the amount of water that was there, the drips, I guess, would have spread and made different shapes. So if you want to, I guess, experiment a bit with your drips as such on your page, you can use your heat gun and it will move the water and the paint around as well and then you will get a different look again. Now here I am, yes, mapping out some stitching. I decided to put some stitching just in white thread, machine stitching underneath to add a little bit more of a, a texture and a background just so it didn't look so flat underneath it there. So... I pretty much still only had the idea of layering in a ton of those butterflies um, with the drips underneath it as well. So that's what I'm running with that, the idea at the moment and just hope, I mean, if it works, it works. If it didn't, it didn't. I wasn't worried because it's all part of just simply playing, having fun, enjoying the process of being able to document a photo. Now, that photo actually couldn't be more perfect. <laughs> I was only taken a couple of weeks ago of my daughter. She got her hair trimmed for the first time. And I was, I had put it off for two years <laughs> to trim, just give her hair a little trim. Because being a mother of a daughter with some curls, you do have the fear of her losing the curls. So once I got over that fear and just said, right, oh, let's just cut it. If you lose the curls, you lose the curls. But believe it or not, the hairdresser was actually laughing because it made her hair curlier. It just like, as soon as when she trimmed the end off, it just sprung up so quickly into curls. The hairdresser said, ah, she's not losing those curls in a hurry. So it looks like I've got a daughter with curly hair, which I never, ever imagined, let alone to have a girl. Anywho, getting sidetracked. So 
if you've been watching what I've do, been doing here instead of listening to my me jabbering on, um, you will see that I've laid a heap of tags and bits and pieces from the ephemera pack from the crepe paper that came in the main kit just to add lots of layers and textures underneath that photo. So now I spend a lot of time here, as you would imagine, layering in my butterflies as well. I didn't, I didn't think about, I guess, what, because there are a few different colours and sizes in these butterflies, which, you know, is really great for layering as well because you've got your, your larger ones popping out, you've got your small ones adding in a bit more depth, you've got your weird colours that look really nice together. So in some ways, you know, having a sheet of butterflies that you cut out, the hard work's nearly done for you because you don't have to worry about, does this one go with this one? Does this one look good? You know, you get the idea. So I just pretty much, whatever I pulled out of my little dish butterflies, I just adhered down. I didn't put any 3D dots behind quite a few of them because once I fold the wings up there, it's enough dimension already. If I added 3D dots underneath and had the wings up, it's quite, um, got quite a lot of depth to it, I suppose. So that's why I just put, popped a little bit of glue on the back of each butterfly. I did use those two fringe butterflies too that came in the kit just to add, I guess, again, a little bit more interest because they are fringed as well and large to add a little bit more depth for the eye. So there was no rocket science behind adding in the butterflies. <laughs> but I tell you, it was a lot of fun actually. So anyway, what I was going to say was that my daughter here with the magnifying glass, when I was trying to get a photo of her with the back of her hair, um, I couldn't get her to turn around. So I just happened to look around and on the floor there was this toy magnifying glass. So I just pulled it out and I said, here, look at the wall with the magnifying glass. And so she did and I got my photo and then she turned around and she had, you know, a lot more fun with the magnifying glass. So I just kept taking photos and, and yeah, I couldn't believe this one actually seemed to be perfect photo for all the butterflies. So I hope no one's watching that has a phobia of butterflies <laughs> because there is so many butterflies there, honey. Anywho, so I guess, you know, um, you can see I've got some tags um, there to the right. When I actually get product or when I pull out a pack of ephemera or I get some papers or even the Project Life cards, I don't always see them as a card. I see them as an image and sometimes that image I want to fussy cut out. And you can see that blue butterfly that I've just popped in. If you've watched, I actually cut that out from a tag because when I looked at the tag, I thought, oh, look, it's, you know, really pretty, la da da But then straight away I was like, I so need to cut those out and put them on my page. So I guess that even comes to, you know, with sayings that are written on cards. I just see them as a text that I want to use and cut it out. It's just, I guess, how my creativity works. So, you know, when you look at product, don't just limit yourself, I suppose is what I'm trying to say, is just think, what else can I do with this besides sticking it on a piece of paper, I suppose? What can I do with it? Um, because it just leaves you wide open then to a lot of, a lot of other ideas and it's quite exciting when you look at something and think, oh, I could do this or I could do that or this or that. And, yeah, you'll find then that it gives you a little buzz because you've come up with something other than the standard stick it on paper kind of thing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't, you know, I'm not saying that at all. It's just that if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you know, look at something in a different way. You know, even give it to your kids. It's really interesting because I do that sometimes. I've got you know, say a piece of paper here or um, 
an embellishment and I want to use it but I just don't know how so I've done it before I give it to my boys and I say hey what do you think of this what does it look like what would you do and it's really interesting I mean you do get some strange answers don't get me wrong but it is really interesting to hear what even your kids would suggest to you in what to do um yeah, it's just, again, another way of you being able to see, I guess, a different way in which you can use a product, which makes it very exciting. So you can see that I've used a few stickers as well from the sticker sheet that came in the kit from the Crepe Paper Chasing Dreams. I always, and you'll see me do it a million times in different videos, I always stick my stickers onto cardstock simply because I like to add a 3d foam dot most of the time underneath it and it allows me still to move it about and if I've got it stuck down with a 3d foam dot and I'm not happy with it well I can just move it again it comes up really easy than if it was a sticker so that's just probably a little tip if you want to spend the time doing that as well um, you can see that I've done my blanket stitch around the edge and then backed that onto the blue and white striped paper just to bring through that blue as well that's in the butterflies. And so my page didn't look so empty and just butterflies, I suppose. Um, and you can see that I cut the back of the blue and white paper, I cut the big square out simply because I didn't want to waste the middle of it. I wanted to use it again. And then that sticker, I decide to curve it and add in a little bit of a circular shape at the top as well. It just also balances out all those butterflies at the bottom. It, the page then doesn't look so heavy on the bottom side. But if you've got any questions about anything here, just let me know. I'm happy to help answer the best that I can. I'll leave links in the bottom as well to my blog and to the hip kit blog as well and the shop and now I'm just finishing off with a few paint splatters which are shimmers products that came in past kits as well but that brings me nearly to the end of my page oh that's right I decide here I needed to pop some journaling in and I didn't have a space for it so I decided to pop it in on that little stamp journal tag which is an old stamp from like years probably 10 years old actually no joke serious and yeah I've just popped it the journaling there in the top and you just pull it out and my journaling's hidden so there we have it finished all the dimension all the layers all the butterflies but yes I hope you've enjoyed my video today and please let me know if I can help in any way don't forget to subscribe to my youtube ch channel as well I've got lots more videos coming. Thanks for watching today.